informative classics what is going on guys welcome back so guys what i'm going to start doing i think i'm going to do it once every month i'm going to take a day out of that month and i'm going to talk about a story that happened on that day 100 years ago so i want to start this series if you want to call it that with this story that I found that happened on July 16th, 1924. Today is July 16th, 2024. For those who may catch this story later on. Um, so where did this story take place? Well, this story took place in the city of uh, Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia, Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia is an old retirement city um, that sits on the borderline of two states, Virginia and Tennessee. This story comes from the Bristol Herald Carrier, um, which was the local, which is the local newspaper there today as well. Um, so, what happened in Bristol? in 1924. Now we're going to talk about the story and then what we're also going to do is we're going to find out um, if there is any follow-ups to the story and then give a final conclusion to that story which may take place on other days but initially started off on the day, this day, 100 years ago. So if you're interested in this, if it sounds like something you may be interested in, Subscribe to the channel for more uh, stories like this or other informative classic moments here on the channel. So let's get right into this. No trace of Bumgartner found too charged, too charged with murder. Jim Wright and Gib Greer, young men of Washington County, who were arrested last Thursday by Deputy Sheriff Ian Dyer near Alvarado, Virginia, and placed in the Washington County Jail at Abingdon, Virginia, charged with the murder of Charles Bumgartner, aged 19 years, are still being held in the jail without bond, while scores of persons are carrying on a search for the body near Alvarado, Virginia. Wright and Greer are alleged have threatened the life of Baumgartner after a dispute over money. The dispute took place the last part of June near Wendell, Virginia, and after the quarrel, Baumgartner left the vicinity and went to a Mr. Price's home here near Alvarado, Virginia. Wright and Greer are said to have followed him there and forcibly caused him to leave Mr. Price's home. Bumgartner was last seen while in the company of the two boys on June 30th, 1924. Since that time, no trace has been found of the missing youth, according to the statements made public by Sheriff John Litton. Yesterday, it is the general opinion in the vicinity of Alvarado that Bumgartner was murdered and his body thrown into Spring or Wolf Creek. The waters of these creeks is so muddy that the researchers had been unable to make in the pro any progress in the search for the body. Sheriff Litton also said that the boys claimed that they did not murder Bumgartner. They admitted taking him away from the home of Mr. Price, but said that two men in an automobile came along and took the youth away from them. The boys are being held on a charge of murder, awaiting the outcome of the search for Bumgartner. So apparently, this story started on July 12, 1924, 
where young men were jailed on a murder charge, youth disappears. Search is made for the body of Charles Bumgarner. Bond is finished for another boy held. Jim Wright and Gib Greer, young men, are in the Washington County Jail at Abingdon, charged with the murder of Charles Bumgarner, 19 years old, and Frank Wright, also involved in the case, was released on bond of 500 last night. Bond was furnished by an uncle and aunt of the boy who names could not be learned late last night. According to the reports, researching here, Bumgarner had been staying at the home of Lee Rowe near Wendell for some time and during the last of June, Jim Wright and Gib Greer are said to have come to the home of Mr. Rowe and stayed for a few nights. One morning, the two boys accused Bumgarner of stealing $19 from Wright during the night. It is said Bumgarner was searched, but the money was not found on his person. That night, Bumgarner went to the home of a neighbor and spent the night to the man named Price near Alvarado, Virginia. The following day, Jim Wright and Gib Greer are said to have told some people that they are going to Price's home and get Wright's money from Bumgarner and also said to have threatened the life of Bumgarner. They went to Price's home it is said and took Bumgarner away with them on June 30th, and that is the last time Bumgarner was seen. As the two boys are alleged to have threatened the life of Bumgarner, a warrant was taken out for their arrest after the boy had been missing for several days. Deputy Sheriff I.N. Dye arrested the two boys near Alvarado Thursday night and brought them to Abingdon, where they were placed in the county jail and charges placed against them of murder. Jim Wright and Gib Greer are being held without bond. Frank Wright was not with the boys, but was suspicious of being implemented, implicated in the mystery, according to the reports from Abingdon. He was released on bond. Many people are searching for the body of Bumgarner in the vicinity of Alvarado, where the boy was last seen. Oh, my God, guys. So this turns out to be a bit of a quagmire, guys. It started off as a murder story. and it's just, Okay, so on Sunday, July 20th, the story was printed in the paper Sunday, July 20th, 1924. The story was printed in the paper, Wright and Greer released from jail. Bumgarner boy located. Jim Wright and Gib Greer, who have been held in the Washington County Jail since the early part of this month without bond, charged with the murder of George, uh, Charles Bumgarner, 19-year-old boy, who had been missing since the last of June, were released from jail Friday when Bumgarner was found to be alive. The trouble is alleged to have started over money that Bumgarner was accused of stealing from one of the boys. After being accused of stealing the money, Bumgarner is said to have left Windell where he had been staying and gone to the home of Mr. Price near Alvarado, Virginia. Wright and Greer are said to have gone to the Price home and taken Bumgarner away with them about the last of June. The boy had not been heard from since he left the Price home and with Wright and Greer until Friday when a Mr. Robertson called Sheriff John Litton in Abingdon and told him that Bumgarner was working on a farm at Black's Ford in Russell County. According to the reports, the boy did not know Wright and Greer had been arrested and did not know that a party of men was searching for his body 
in, in the creek near Ab no, Alvarado, Virginia. Oh, my God. <laughs> the strange case of Charles Baumgartner. What the hell? Boy, I tell you that. And, you know, there were no news stories. You know, there, there wasn't many uh, thing news outlets back then. Just the newspaper. Um, I don't know if anything was on TV about it. Uh, shoot, of course, no social media in 1924. God damn, imagine that. And they held him until, I mean, until they was going to find the body. And then up until then, I guess they thought they had a body up until then. So there wasn't much to even go on. Man, that is crazy. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. I mean, what were you expecting? Were you expecting, I mean, in the beginning, were you expecting for there to be, you know, a missing person that went on for years and they never found the body and, these men were charged or hung. Hmm. But I don't know. I guess that's the end. Uh, if I find anything else about this case, I might add it to this video. If not, this will be this will be the end. So if I find something else, I'll add on to this. If not, um, this will just be the end, guys. Crazy, crazy story. The strange, the strange case of Charles Baumgartner happened July, started July 16th, 1924. And we are talking about it 100 years later on July 16th, 2024. You guys have a great rest of your week. If this catches you close to the weekend, have a great weekend. And I will catch you on the next episode of... 100 years to this day. Have a good one. Peace out. Informative Classics.